happy Tuesday Genesis Project family so I'm going to take you down I'm going to do some little chores which is just letting out the chickens right and I will introduce you to some of the chickens yeah we name our chickens here all right so I'm heading down so I told you all that I want to introduce you to some special babies I can't remember their names these isn't our horses but these are our neighbors horses I know that you all think that they are beautiful just like I do all right so I'm going to introduce you to some ladies okay so you will be hearing a buzzing noise in the background and that is just um, the grass is being mowed so I will just point out the ladies to you so this is the Dudley's farm just need to open the gate So this is my mother my mother's in law orchard okay so what you're seeing here is um, plum trees apple trees here all those things that you're seeing here and unfortunately I am bummed out that I will not be here when they start to bear but they are laden with flowers so I know it seemed like it will have a really good harvest um, here when I told you that we are in a real life um, farm right it's truly a farm so all those days is chicken pens because my mother-in-law have a bunch of chickens I will introduce you to the little babies and oh my word the smell here is just awesome with all the flowers oh. Look at the flowers on these trees. Oh. Let me see if I could find them. Hi ladies! Hi ladies! So you'll see all of them coming. So our friend had named these chickens, okay? It have two of these chickens here. Like this one. Um one is Betty and one is Wilma because the the breed of chickens that they are songs like bedrock so Wilma and Louise from the Flimstone bedrock I was looking for Marilyn so Marilyn is a is a blonde hen that every time she sees me she run and she runs towards me but I'm not seeing Marilyn so I want to show you this beautiful tulip that's my mother's tulips and little rock garden and pond the pond don't look much right now because it's just winter anyhow I'm going to show you um, my mother-in-law's garden here she have a whole bunch of raspberry plants there we see in that orange fence there or oh, not raspberry sorry strawberries and down below here on the side the ground is tilled and all that and she's going to plant um, potatoes and a whole bunch of other stuff don't know exactly what it is and as you could hear the babies or the cocks are crowing 
Bubsy is heading off to work in that white car there. So yes, I know I'm in the orchard. The kitties just normally follow me. One of them is Thomas. Thomas is normally follow me. Come Thomas. Come Thomas. All right. So yes, we are in the orchard, okay? I love this orchard. I have so many awesome memories of eating so many plums, prunes, pears, apples in this orchard. I won't be here when all these um, fruits bear, but as you can see, it's have a lot of flowers on it. But nevertheless, I love the smell of it. And if you can see here, seen a little kitty that's coming here that is Thomas he follows me down every morning to do my chores isn't he a beautiful little kitty hi Thomas so I'm going to let out the girls and this is one of the, the pen that the chickens are in and you'll see there is a mad rush to come out as soon as I open here. Hello ladies! So this one here is Betty. Alright. This one here, the blonde one here, is Marilyn. Alright, it have another one that looks just like this one. Oh, look at there. That's Wilma. And you see, they know that I bring little treats for them. So, they're all excited about it. And we keep the boys by themselves because they take advantage of the girls. That's and this is another chicken pen here and you see also again another mad rush all of them is running out it's like freedom <laughs> um we have a couple of babies um approximately um 30 that we have so i always come and check on them make sure that they're okay see the babies Check to see if they have enough water to feed. They're okay. That's a heat lamp there for them because here it's very cold. And make sure that the girls have enough water. I'll just open the spigot. And that's about it thank you to all our neighbors that allow me to walk on the private driveway every day or whenever I want we appreciate you the carpenters the Burkhards the Swan Sarahs um, Bonnie the Skillies thank you very much for your generosity thank you very much for just opening your arms to this Caribbean girl we appreciate you we love you to you our many viewers thank you for continuing to follow us along this journey called life thank you for continuing to watch and follow us so please spread the word like and subscribe we love you chat soon bye